Gardening, to me, has completely transformed my life. It's an incredibly amazing tonic and everyone should do it. We started the Food is Free Green Space in answer to the fact that we had run out of space in the laneway because it is a very confined space. We realised so many people were in need, so we really did want to make a proper impact. And I have used green space as not only a space to grow heaps of food and be able to bring it back to laneway to feed our community, but also a great platform for us to teach education through our various self-sufficiency workshops. It serves a dual purpose, grow more food, educate people, and we're so grateful to the City of Ballarat for giving us that space. I didn't realise when I first moved here that it was such a massive issue, food security. A lot of people don't know where their next meal's coming from, or they just don't have access to fresh, good quality produce. So they can come here and learn how it's, it's grown and also take some of this with them, but they can also take some of that knowledge back with them and start growing at home if they want to. We have 50 amazing volunteers at the present moment, which is growing. Without them, nothing happens, and I just get amazed at anyone who puts their hand up to dedicate some time volunteering with Food is Free, and they're superheroes. That's exactly what they are to me, they're superheroes. I would love to have a garden where you could grow fruit trees and tomatoes and beans and things, but we haven't got the space at home. But this suits me very well where we can just come and do our bit and pretend it's all ours. <laughs> Lou is so enthusiastic and uh, such a, a gatherer of people and the way she's got the volunteers coming in and the way she's organised this and the way it's expanding from the laneway. I don't think I ever imagined the impact that starting up Food is Free you know, could have come to this, even just in a short amount of time, five years, which makes me really positive and excited about the future because if we've done this much in a short amount of time, can you imagine what we're going to achieve with you know, full wind in our sails.